there's been talks mm-hmm. that since cartel been released from, from prison, people are afraid. Artists, mm-hmm. people, artists have been a bit trepidatious mm-hmm. in dropping songs. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So, prison marketing consultants, me get that story from. You see me, big up prison marketing consultants, the public relations and media platform. There we go. Where's the story again? Hold on. All right, so it says music distributors report declining reggae and dancer releases. Is Vibes Cartel to blame? Poor Cartel. Oh, so let me just read that, that caption upon IG. Recent reports from three prominent distributors of reggae and dancehall music highlight a notable decline in new releases for August. A European distributor observed a 41% drop in submissions, while two US based distributors reported reported declines of 26% and 15% respectively. Factors contributing to this decline or to this decrease include seasonal trends, tours, economic pressures, and strategic release um, release delays. Release delays, sorry. However, a noted influence also appears to be Vibes Cartel's release from prison, which has shifted industry focus. His post-prison mixtape, first week out, quickly climbed the Billboard Reggae Albums chart, drawing significant attention away from other artists. Despite this, releases from notable names like Idonia Spice, Bugle, and Stark Ashley still made headlines. So the article, he or the article is The article is taking note of a decline in releases for the past month and is... But I said, putting forth the hypothesis, if you will, mm-hmm. that cartel has something to do with it. Mm. Because that's been a talk on the street. An interesting you know. thing. It's been a talk, you see me? Mm-hmm. Around various mm-hmm. artist camps, if you will. We've yeah. been no them do that. I wouldn't say, oh, artists, them fear for job. Cartel, they are ruined. Mm. So we call them say cartel have everybody attention. But cut, young artists drop. Oh, it's really with them. <laughs> As the article point out, Stark has the job. Yeah. Spice drop her album. Yeah. Even though that been in well, the planning that, yeah. before. Yeah. And yeah, that yeah. was after. This is my bugle yeah. plan for job soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do on a job song. Yeah. People been a release song. Yeah, people been a release song. So you think there's that... any credence? Do you feel, do you get that feeling, say, oh, people are afraid to no. release things now, now that cartel is up on the road, you know, and it seemed like, say, yo, the whole of Jamaica attention is mm-hmm. turned towards it. I think to have this conversation, you have to see what happened the year before and the, the year before that. Mm. So you have to, you, we have to figure in the trends before to say, well, oh, their artists usually drop at this specific time, or there usually be more releases at this specific time. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, for us to really take that into consideration, that cartel coming out of of prison. Um, has something to do with the decline. As the article the point out, say uh, one of the things that decline is a factor is, is unseasonal trends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so tours. I, I wouldn't put that solely on cartel, like or say is because cartel come out artists have artists afraid for drop. I mean cartel drop theme single, but um his album after him come out really. Remember that? Yeah, in project. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it I honestly <laughs> I listened to like one song after the the, the project after Go and listen again, but um, I have to listen to it, the full album. But I think I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that on cartel. Like I really wouldn't put that on cartel. Like, you wouldn't put it on no. cartel. No, I think you know maybe a lot of them are touring. A it lot won't of them seem are, like a, yeah. yes, it won't seem like the the drop. Yeah, a lot of them in are probably is, in project is, mode. A lot of them is um you know probably doing other businesses. So mm-hmm. to 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 put it at cartel or to try and connect cartel coming out of prison as the factor or the main contributing factor for them not releasing, I think is just a bit of a stretch. Hmm. So I wouldn't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with this hypothesis. So you don't think him have any effect at all on nah. artists, whether they might drop or not? No. Nah. During this time? No. Nah. 
No. Uh, Remember, f- Sekar, the thing is, you know, it's a different different thing. So most of these artists have them inbuilt audience. True. So they would care and they would listen to them artists who are drop and you know, and if if anything can break through that. Yeah, it would it No, would, but Ari, you feel like say, they wouldn't be smart if them just a cater to them them inbred audience. You don't want to think that they have a mindset say they want to catch more people. True. True, true, true. So while I agree somewhat with what mm-hmm. you're saying, you can't tell me say mm-hmm. that there are artists out there that no see what I go on and I've said, say, oh my cool this back. Mm. God tell kind of everybody attention. You probably don't want to put this out now because everybody attention there, yeah, so I'm gonna want more people pay attention to my project. Ari, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, mm-hmm. and artists are few has said this. Yeah, well. So them Maybe not, not a them, major them factor, not, but them them he plays somewhat of a factor. So we're taking the time out of this podcast to big up our sponsors, Daylight Ibiza, Atelier De Chic. Hope mm-hmm. I'm saying that right. Happening October 21st, Heroes Day, music by Chromatic, A-Team, Codeland, and Liquor Richie. Follow them on Instagram at Daylight Ibiza and also you can get more info on DaylightIbiza.com. Mm-hmm. But also I said big up to Cell Care Jamaica. For the finest in Apple products, Samsung products, Android products, phone <laughs> accessories, you name it, hit up Cellcare J A. You can follow them at Cellcare J A. Pre the screen and you can see where you can contact them as well. The thing is, you know, like yes, you want as much attention as possible, mm-hmm. but you can't. But to say that it, the time's different now. Remember mm-hmm. back then, you know, like Cartel Mavada, them had a strangle hold on the 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 media landscape and music in general mm-hmm. of like what kind of broke through the song waves the song barriers the radio barriers um it's different now social media is there mm-hmm. you know and people have them fans like where look to it so the people who follow them people who um subscribe to them them listening platforms or their you know wherever them get them them wherever them listen to music, them subscribe to the, to that platform. So they will put it out to say, well, all right, I'm going to cater to my audience first. And then if, and, and if any way that we can break through the cartel, I guess, noise, mm. they can, or they will, you know, it's different. Like it's social media. So you cannot just think he's just working with one platform. I don't point agree taken, with it. Point taken, but this is cartel fresh out of prison. True. Fresh out of prison. True, true, true. This is cartel Every day it seems like mm-hmm. a he man see them, he man see them, he man see them. Mm-hmm. So the very platforms that have been the saviors, if you will, of none of these artists, mm-hmm. him seem like him also a takeover right now. <laughs> That's so the funny thing, but exactly. <laughs> you know, every other post me sees cartel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he man see them in their Panama, and then St. Vincent, they mm-hmm. do this, and do mm-hmm. that. Is it me so that's what I'm saying? There are indeed some artists out there. And then no to that say yo, make well wall off. That they are the strategic release factor that tie into cartel. Because they're my priest say yo, cartel have a lot of the people's attention right now. I might tell you. I might tell you. It is a factor, you know. How much a percentage is it a factor? Only can debate that, you see me? Mm-hmm. Because as that article I bring up say, oh, there are other factors involved. Which is which in I the think decrease. is the main contributing. Like just the other factors are probably mm. the main factors. Like I think yeah, people like Cartel and Ray Cartel and you know are aware of what Cartel brings to the industry. Mm-hmm. But maybe them just never have nothing planned. And probably never have no singles. And probably just say, Well, may I focus on the album or you know, I'm touring, you know. So I, I really don't I wouldn't really put it at Cartel's feet like that. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't. I know artists them uh, <laughs> been around the place. People are watching them very close. And yeah. Very close. And say, oh, mm, yeah, we drop none. Oh, it's has this changed your release yeah. schedule? Like, you yeah, drop more. Like, why you not drop as much as you used to? Hmm. I don't think. And you know what's so pray. funny? It, oh, you know what? All right, let me see if this is if this is a thing that is tied to Cartel. Maybe mm. they too are captivated by him too. True. So it's just like, well... Them just probably never ever remember sending me for the song. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe Cartel. Yeah, Al, I don't know. Mr. Al TJ ever make post about Cartel to answer. Uh, yeah. Uh, I saw me I go stay at the Cartel show. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With him, woman. <laughs> mm. 
So maybe too, them get captivated too. Yeah. Mm. But I wouldn't necessarily put it at cartel street like that. If a girl want go, she can go. Call me now. Go run down one girl when me up more. In a trail alone. In a trail alone. In a trail alone. If a girl want go. You drive me crazy. But me your something fit tell you me lady. Baby you too late. Move your eyes. Shell, shell no one.